Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Yolanda and here on my channel I like to share the different tips and tricks that I use on a regular basis in order to improve both my mental and physical health. So I'm not just surviving, but thriving. I want to begin this video by sharing my journey. And I want to remind everyone who's watching that this is a journey. It's, it's my own journey and I, I welcome you to it. And I would love to hear about yours, but I do not profess to be an expert on all things or doing it perfectly or, or this should be the way you should do your journey. I'm simply here to motivate myself and inspire others. But as far as my personal journey, it began back January 2nd, 2022. I came on weighing 351 pounds. I have since lost well over 60 pounds and um, have been sharing my journey for the most part ever since. Um, I lost the majority of the weight doing rolling fasting, specifically rolling 17, 72s, which is where you fast for 72 hours, or in my case, 70 hours, feed for two hours, and then start the process over again. I get a lot of questions about whether I'm actually doing a 72 hour fast if I start feeding, if I feed for two hours. Um, but know that if you do a rolling fast of any kind, if you actually fast the 72 hours or the 48 hours or the 24 hours and then you eat, when you start eating again, and you do another rolling 24 or 48, 72 hours, you will end up pushing your window of eating further and further away. You could not eat at the same period of time every day and actually do a 48 hour fast or 24 or 72. I hope that makes sense. But I closed my feeding window pretty close initially to the two hours in order to, um, fast for as long as possible. So my fasting ended up being 70 hours with a window of two hours. But since then, meaning start the start of this year, I decided to switch to 48 hours rolling fasting. And I, I'm doing that because I have found a love for and a desire to grow more muscle instead of um, really focusing on losing weight. And I know that can be hard for some people to understand, seeing how I come to you still weighing, you know, 290s in the 290s um, um, range right now, because you're thinking, oh, she needs to lose weight just as quick as possible. Whereas my journey is more about me feeling better. And part of me feeling better is gaining strength. And I have found joy in gaining strength. Now, if if someone was on a journey to lose weight and it was inspired or triggered by, um, let's say, some kind of medical issue they may have, of course, I would encourage you to drop as much weight as you can, um, as quickly and safely as you can um, in order for your health. But at this point, aside from being overweight, that is my only medical diagnosis. I do not have any other like high cholesterol, high blood pressure, diabetes, any anything else um, that is affecting my health currently. And I'm gonna, I want and am going to keep it that way. But did I explain why I'm doing rolling 48s? Okay, so because I wanted to gain more muscle, I just, I know that I needed to eat more protein. In order to get more protein in my diet, I needed to eat a little bit more frequently. So I reduced my rolling fasting from, from rolling 72s to now, rolling 48s. My body is getting a little more adjusted to eating more frequently and I'm not dropping as much weight currently. So I'm trying my best not to focus on that, but just make the transition and continue and increasing my weightlifting um, goals and exercises. But I just wanted to address all that before I jumped into what today's video is more so about oftentimes when we are on a wellness or weight loss journey 
when we get off track is because our routine is interrupted or disturbed or however you want to describe it that could be from like a birthday celebration or some sort of holiday like christmas or new year's eve um that could cause you to get off track and in addition to those things definitely vacations or trips away from home can definitely disrupt your schedule so when recently i needed to go on a trip i wanted to plan for it because i shared with you guys on the last video i recently increased like my dumbbell weight from 15 to 20 pounds and i was like i don't want to lose those gains so what can i do which was not put 40 pounds worth of weights in my uh, luggage and take it with me what can i do to keep my gains in that area so i decided to take some tools with me that would help keep me on track for both my mental and physical health and i'll share those with you guys now the first thing i packed was more so for my mental health um when i fly i do get a bit stressed and even the situation that i was going into would be uh, one that may trigger some stress and anxiety so i brought with me my eye mask this is a Renfo eye mask that's not only an eye mask as you can see it's pretty super duper <laughs> it is a massager it heats it plays music it really kind of takes you to another place and relaxes you because i hold a lot of my um tension in my forehead and my jaw so in my facial area so this helps to keep um, my face relaxed and just helps me to relax overall um, as you can see it does come with the bag and um, inside the bag I have the remote that's for it so if you kind of have the mask on you memorize where the buttons are and you can make the adjustment you can cut off the music you can change the music you can you know change the setting so all the things that you can imagine comes with that and then also in the bag i do have the charger for it but if you lose the remote no worries it also has buttons on the side where you can control all the things i just mentioned and this rainbow mask came in clutch i probably used it three or four times while i was on my trip and i highly recommend it I do use it at home sometimes when I get uh, migraines or to relax me when I'm going to sleep. Now, the second thing I took with me is something that I'm sure a lot of you would take with you on a trip as well. Um, and that is my, what is this called? iPad. <laughs> Mine is an iPad Pro. So the screen is pretty large and I use this for YouTube. Um, because I wouldn't be able to access the gym that I go to here, which is Hot Works, I wanted to be able to do some hit and cardio um, videos. And so I made sure that I had my own iPad available and I took my AirPods with me so that I wouldn't disturb the people who were in the home in which I was staying in. I enjoy doing Grow With Joe videos she really gets me to work up a sweat and so i think i was doing the um what was it i think it's like three miles and abs and you're supposed to burn like 500 calories and i can attest to that your girl was working up a sweat <laughs> don't forget your airpods but when i started this segment of the video i was telling you that my big concern was losing gains with my lifting because I had just progressed to 20 pounds. And so what I invested in is in this bag. I said invested is a very small investment. Investment, I believe it was like, was it 14 or 24? Something less than $25 for resistance bands. My set has um, one, two, three, four, five different bands. And as you can see here, um, they start at 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50. And you could combine them to increase the weight even further. I will say I did not use 10, 20, or 30. But instead, I used 40 for resistance for my arm exercises. 
and 50 for my leg exercises. As you can see, I ended on leg day. So I have the handles attached to the 50 one. So the 40 would equate to having 20 pounds in each hand. So it worked out great for me. I'll insert some footage of me working out with the resistance bands here. saw it came with its own carrying bag but in addition to that it also has these additional accessories so these are the handles or the yeah I will call them handles that you can use um, this you will wrap around your feet or your ankle for leg exercises and this is what you use for the door stopper uh, you simply put the resistance band through this end and this part on the opposite side of the door that you're working on and it acts as a, a stopper. It worked really well for me. So if you're not familiar, I work out every other day um, and that's in line with when I eat. So in the morning of the day that I'm going to eat, I get up and I do my exercises. I do resistance or weight training first and then I do cardio. So I had the opportunity to use the resistance kit and really test it out uh, four or five times while I was away from home and from my gym. I would say there is a bit of learning curve, but if you just look at a couple of videos or Google resistance bands exercises, you'll find plenty of exercises that you can do um, in order to still meet your fitness goals. Let me not forget, on the dietary side, I packed protein powder in my luggage and I pre-planned my meals um, using Instacart. I just loaded it up with all the meals that I wanted to eat while I was there and had it delivered when I got there. Now, the last item I have was most crucial to keeping me on my wellness journey and that's just simply my cup. I took it with me in the airport empty and was able to fill it up after um, going through security. You know, a bottle of water is $4? Uh, no ma'am, because I would need to have bought like eight bottles of water while I sat in the airport going and coming and all the things. So this was pivotal to make sure I still met my water goals, which is half my body weight in ounces. Speaking of. Ooh, your girl's parched. Now, I'm by no means saying you need all of these things to still attain your goals and to stay on track when you go on a trip or you go on vacation. But I am saying that you need to plan because if you don't have a plan, you're sure to go off track. <laughs> I know many of you, if not most of you, are on your own wellness or weight loss journey. What's that one item that you have to take with you on a trip or on vacation in order to stay on course? Let me know in the comments down below because I might have been missing something. <laughs> I did bring workout clothes too. But anywho guys, that's all for today. I hope that this video helps you along on your process. If you're planning for your next trip or vacation, don't forget your tools. But most importantly, I hope that you have an amazing day. Bye guys, I'll see you next time.